What's going on guys in the works and welcome to the post patch BF4 experience and that's what we're going to be talking about today because I wanted to let the patch kind of settle in because I know there's probably hundreds of videos out there that did a you know an instant reaction oh man the patch is great oh man the patch sucks type video whereas I wanted to wait a few days I wanted to get a feel for what this patch did for the game and I'll talk about some of the things that I think it did well and some of the things I think that it really didn't do at all and as you can see right there a couple of weird iffy kills there to start off the video but uh, a little bit about the gameplay we are going to be using the AS Val which you can now unlock it is a second assault weapon you have to be in the chopper for 10 minutes and you have to get 10 squad repairs pretty simple uh, it took me like you know 10 minutes to get it on a, on a PC, but on my Xbox account it took me forever. So I was really glad that I didn't have to go through the same thing I went through on Xbox because for whatever reason every chopper I got onto on Xbox it was like a it was a taxi service basically. But a little bit about the AS Val is I've learned some important lessons, and that is don't do what you see me doing right here in this particular clip. This is a pretty early on clip. You know this is one of my first experiences with the weapon and I'm not micro burst and you can see I got an assist on the first guy and it took me like what 30 rounds to kill the second guy that is not how you want to be using this it shoots super quick though it shoots 900 rounds per minute you know it does the 30 damage up close so it is a very quick time to kill but those 20 rounds will be done before you even blink an eye so it takes a lot of practice and a lot of precision micro burst to make this weapon work the way it's supposed to or at least effectively because um, if you want to take out more than one person, you've got to be very precise. You've got to be very uh, aware of how you're firing the weapon. You have to microburst. I know that's probably an annoying term at this point, but you know that's all I can say about the S file. I mean, we'll do a more in-depth video here later on because it was one of my favorite weapons in Battlefield 3. I think I had well over a thousand kills with it. It was just pure, pure goodness, especially with the extended mags, and it behaves a lot differently than its BF3 counterpoint. So I think it deserves a standalone video. But I thought it'd be awesome to sit down and watch us use it here in this particular video, where we're going to be discussing the patch. The patch was very interesting. <laughs> it made the game run a lot smoother. I think the overall your hit detection is better if that makes any sense like if I'm firing at someone I feel like my bullets are hitting a lot more accurately and the overall snappiness of the game is better that being said there are still kill trades there are still one HP bugs there's still zero HP bugs there's still kill trading all the things that really made people just scratch their head and say well why did that happen to me you know I was at 100% health why did I just die instantly it's just one of those things that there's nothing you can really do about it, and that is still prevalent in the game. In fact, I almost feel like I'm getting more one-shot kills against me than I was previously. So that is one bummer about the patch, but I would say the overall experience with Battlefield 4 with this patch is pretty good. It's probably the best implemented patch that I've seen so far, minus the fact that TDM sound bugs exist where your sound will actually cut out during a TDM match. They're working on a fix for that, but I think far as any game-breaking major glitches or anything like that in the patch, this is pretty safe from that, which is a, a step in the right direction, because before we got a lot of patches that actually made the game experience worse, where they actually had to roll things back. Now, one of the major changes in this particular patch was the DMRs, and I talked about this in my last video, um, how DMRs, you know, even though I personally think they're a little underpowered, they needed to get buffed in some way. Well, they did exactly what a lot of you guys were suggesting, which was essentially make it a three bullet kill at its maximum range. So then, you know, you're not having to put four bullets into someone with a DMR at, you know, 500 meters. It really doesn't make much sense because it's supposed to be an accurate precision weapon versus, you know, sitting there having to spam the living daylights out of someone to get a kill. So we've definitely seen an increase of people using DMRs. And I think time will tell whether or not they made the right choice in buffing them. I think at this point, a lot of people are happy where they're at. But then on the other side of the coin, you've got a lot of people who are really annoyed with the DMR spam. So it's a very tough balancing issues with the, the marksman rifles, and uh, hopefully they'll get it right eventually. Um, right now, I think they may be a little bit too spammable. But the last point I want to make is not about Mantle, which a lot of you guys probably suspected. No, it is about the black screen spawn reduction, which is hands down the best thing about this patch. Because I'm sure if you've played the game in the last three days, you've noticed that you can actually spawn on squad mates now and not get insta-murked by the guy who's just sitting there looking at you before you even come into the game. Because that was the most annoying thing about... Uh, the spawn system in Battlefield 4 was essentially that you feel like you died before you even got a chance to react to anything. 
And I know a lot of people were telling DICE, hey, you need to fix this, and DICE was like, oh, well, there's really nothing we can do. Well, it turns out there was something they could do because they have fixed it to the point where I think it's reduced by about a second, which in FPS times is a lot of time. So the, the reduced spawn screen blackness is definitely a step in the right direction, and that's why I think this is hands down the best patch that we've gotten so far. So let me know what you guys think about the patch in the, in the comments, though. I'm actually curious what your experiences have been with it. Look forward to a video on Mantle though i'm gonna break down mantle tell you guys my thoughts on it because i do have amd cards and i definitely think it deserves its own video but if you miss any of your past videos here's a chance to catch up and i will see you guys next time peace